Hi everybody. Welcome to another one of our awesome tech videos. I am Paige Lippert. I'm one of the consumer technology specialists here at Midcontinent Public Library. And today we're going to do another Let's Go Live and we're going to talk about Twitch. <laughs> I'm going to preface this immediately with I am not a pro streamer. I'm not even a streamer. Uh, so Twitch is a little outside of my wheelhouse, but I know a lot of people are curious about it. And so I decided to kind of dive in and try my best to figure out what's going on. Uh, so here we go. So what you're going to need, uh, you're going to need a computer or a mobile device. You can do uh, Twitch streaming on both. Um, it kind of varies <laughs> how you want to do it. Uh, you can do everything entirely from mobile, or you can actually run parts of the stream from mobile and parts from your computer, or you can go entirely from a computer. It's entirely up to you. It's just kind of what you want to choose, how you want to do it. Actually, you don't even have to have a computer. Um, you can, if you're streaming games from a PlayStation or an Xbox One, I believe, uh, there is a stream, a Twitch setup for streaming on those. So you don't necessarily even have to have a computer or mobile device, I guess I should have added, or gaming system. Um, you will definitely need an internet connection um, and a strong one, good one that can handle uh, streaming which does take up a good amount of juice. So keep that in mind. Um, you're going to need a pretty healthy uh, internet connection, um, wired or wireless, mobile data works, doesn't matter what, but just keep in mind that it needs to be pretty hardy. Um, you'll need a camera, maybe, depending on if you want to show your pretty face, um, and then a mic or speakers and a headset, something along those lines, something so that people can hear you and you can hear them or hear notifications, something along those lines. And then you're going to need your login info. Uh, for Twitch itself, but then also anything that you want to stream. Uh, so I know a lot of Twitch streamers uh, stream games from uh, a platform called Steam, so you'll need those logins and stuff as well. So a little bit about setup. I wanted to kind of talk about this a bit before I actually started getting into setting up the live stream itself. So before you even get to go live, you need to kind of set up a whole bunch of stuff. Um, and I, I added getting started on there because there's a learning curve. Uh, so there's there's a lot to learn. And when you first get started, you're not going to have those epic backgrounds and cool overlays and things like a lot of your pro streamers and partner streamers are going to have on Twitch. Um, it's just going to take some time and some practice and some learning, figuring out how to do all of the different things <laughs> to kind of uh, get used to it and play with it. So those first streams might be pretty simple. You might just have a basic boring background as you learn more. It's a lot about kind of playing with it and tinkering with it and, and learning. Um, I, I highly suggest a thing called Creator Camp and Twitch runs it. They've got all kinds of little uh, things for you to go read and video, like they're just recordings of live streams and they do occasional live streams as well uh, with partner streamers. <laughs> so you can learn a lot more about going live and streaming on Twitch and kind of the setups that other people use and how you can be more inclusive and how you can just kind of keep going with streaming. And it was super helpful for me, even not even trying to be a, a streamer, just learning how to get started with streaming so I can help other people. Uh, it's super helpful and there's a lot of information in there. And then the other thing I kind of want to talk about is software and equipment. So unlike some of the other ones I've done a go live for, uh, you do need a few extra pieces. Um, so I, I have downloaded one piece of software uh, to actually allow me to do the streaming itself uh, to go live. Um, so you'll need something like that, a piece of streaming software. And I'll talk a little bit about that when I start to actually go set up the streams. Um, but you uh, will need to set up, uh, download a piece of so a streaming software to allow you to go live. And then equipment wise, um, like I said, you're going to need a mic, um, probably a camera, a decent headset so you can hear what's going on. Um, and some of the things that I was seeing and kind of reading about before, like as I was trying to get started and learn about this was that sound is huge. Audio is huge. Because um, a lot of people will just kind of throw a stream on and go do other things on their computer. So you're just there in the background. And if your audio stinks, they can't hear you. They can't understand what's going on. And so... It's not going to be the best. So audio is probably your biggest thing. So focusing on that and then starting to work on the camera and the camera angles and those sorts of things after that. So keep that in mind, um, but definitely for sure check out Creator Camp as a good thing 
uh, to get you started and to learn more about it. And as I get into this, bear with me, because I, like I said, I'm not a pro. <laughs> I don't know exactly what I'm doing. I am just trying to kind of help you guys get started as much as I'm trying to help myself get started. So uh, we're going to learn together and it's going to be cool. <laughs> so with that, let's go hop onto Twitch and see what we can do. All right, here we are on the Twitch homepage. This is where you go just when you hit the browser and go to Twitch. Uh, so this is just kind of the basic tour here. You can see over here on the left, you have your followed channels. I have one that is live right now. You can tell by the little red dot, um, as well as some popular channels down here. And then right here in the middle was, is kind of nice. They, they highlight uh, just some popular channels or just some channels that might be of interest to anybody who pops into Twitch. Um, it's really cool. It's kind of a nice way to find some new channels. It's how I found a couple of uh, channels that I was curious about, uh, uh, particularly for music. A lot of the music streamers end up on there for whatever reason uh, for me. Uh, then as we scroll down, you have the popular live channels. Uh, you have some categories that you can choose from. You have games, IRL, uh, or in real life, and then music and esports. And then you can pick from the popular categories. Uh, for me, just chatting usually pops up first because that's what I have been using mostly to kind of figure out Twitch and, and learn a bit about it. But they also have the gaming channels. And as you scroll through, there's even more of them. Um, but they usually do pick out some of the most popular ones first. Uh, then you can kind of come down here. You can see some of the most po of the current popular just chatting channels. Usually they're focused on ones that are live right now. Uh, then we get down into some of the gaming ones, so League of Legends, uh, Grand Theft Auto, and then there's some clips that they think we will like um, based on things that we have followed. So kind of a cool thing. Uh, up here on the top, you have your following browse. So you can search the channels you're following. You can browse for new ones to find. Uh, in this little three dots menu, you have all kinds of information uh, to work with Twitch. Uh, you can learn about it, read all the blogs, learn about the developers, uh, even jobs. <laughs> it's really cool. There's tons of stuff uh, for you to kind of tinker with in here. Uh, over here, you've got your Prime Gaming. That's a little crown. Uh, you can hook up your Twitch account with your Amazon Prime account. And if you have an Amazon Prime account, you immediately and already have access to uh, Prime Gaming, which allows you to get some kind of cool freebie things uh, for a lot of games, kind of like uh, League of Legends and uh, Grand Theft Auto. Uh, you can also uh, get a free subscription every month. So once a month, you can subscribe for free to a channel. Um, channels do have subscription options. Uh, they are not always free. In many cases, they cost a few bucks. Um, it's how a lot of Twitch streamers make a, a little bit of money, and it's a way for you to support your favorite streamers. Uh, the other way to support your favorite streamers is the bits. Um, they're just kind of a way of cheering people on in the chat, so if they do something that you really like, or if they've got um, a hype train going, you can use that to kind of contribute and help support your favorite streamers so they can keep doing what they're doing and, and, and enjoy <laughs> what's going on. Uh, the one here in the middle is just your notifications, so anything that you have going on. And then over here on the very far right, is your profile picture. This is how you can navigate around with your own stuff. Uh, a few things I want to point out here. Uh, this is where you have some stream information. So if you make any friends, if you have any subscriptions, uh, those are yours, personal ones, not necessarily your stream. Uh, you can see that I am set to show that I'm online and to share my activity. I don't have a lot going on and nobody is my friend on here, so I'm not sharing anything with anybody, but you can kind of pick and choose what you share here. Uh, next thing I want to point out is these settings. Uh, this is where you can go change the settings and things for your personal account. Uh, you can hook up your Prime Gaming. You can go into your channel and videos, your security and privacy. Uh, a big one I wanted to focus on, though, was the connections. Um, this is where you can go to get your stuff set up to handle streaming games, <laughs> particularly from your computer. So if you're uh, playing games and things on your computer, you're going to need to set up uh, that that connection. So I will be showing you a game that I am streaming from Steam. So I've got my uh, Matilda's Steam account is hooked up to Matilda's Twitch account. So you can kind of see what that looks like. I've also got YouTube and Twitter hooked up. Uh, haven't tinkered with that too much, but it allows you to kind of do some things back and forth. But you can see uh, some of the things that it works with right here. And then there's some other extensions and connections that you can add as well. 
So I wanted to show you that. Uh, actually, I'm going to head back to this main page. Mute or pause this down. It's muted already, so we're good. Um, something I want to point out here before I move into actually showing you a bit more about your channel. Uh, with Twitch, it is not necessarily always going to be kid-friendly. Uh, so keep that in mind. You may come across some stuff that is definitely more geared towards adults. It's a very open community. Uh, so there's all kinds of different streams covering all kinds of different topics and all kinds of different people. Um, if something is meant for adults only, there's usually an 18 and up warning as you try to start the stream. But I mean, sometimes something might pop up, even even the title of the stream. Um, so keep that in mind if you are popping in here. Also, keep in mind it's not all in English. <laughs> um, so right now, actually, this very first popular live channel is in Spanish. Uh, so you will find a lot. I mean, Twitch is worldwide, so you will find a lot of streamers who are uh, streaming in a variety of languages. Um, and all of the English channels may not be. Uh, American English, so keep that in mind as well. You may run into British English, Australian English, or just uh, somebody from a different country who happens to speak English uh, doing a live stream uh, in English, but it may be accented. So just keep those sort of things in mind as you're going. It's just, it's a very open community, <clears throat> very cool, um, but you are not always going to find absolutely all of the, you know, nice prim and proper stuff. It could go in some directions that you aren't expecting. So just keep that in mind. And with that, I'll pop over here so you can start to see some of the things. I'm going to go to the channel. Uh, Tech Lady MCPL does have a channel, <laughs> uh, kind of, <laughs> for better or worse. So I'm going to get this popped up. As it loads in, I need to be able to mute and pause this real quick because I do have a video here that will start. All right, so got that stopped. Uh, <laughs> so I have gone live. Uh, once, actually twice, so there might be a second video here now, um, but it's just me testing. But this is kind of what your channel can look like when you're going in there. You can see uh, that video that I did when I was just testing inside my cubicle. Uh, <laughs> so please don't watch that. It's terrible. It's just me talking to me, uh, learning how to use Twitch and making goofy faces at my camera. Um, but you can see past videos, so if they have anything that is saved and recorded, they will go in there. Oh no, two views. Somebody else has looked at that. Um, so you can see how many views it has. Down here below it, you can see that it was I had the title of testing, you can see my name, uh, and you can see that it was put under the category of just chatting, um, because that's quite literally what it was. You can go to the about part and learn a little bit about the channel itself. Usually streamers will set a pretty hearty bio to find the give uh, viewers all kinds of information about them, um, especially if they are planning to uh, monetize it or want to kind of really grow their stream. I, of course, am not trying to grow this stream, so there's not a lot of information here, uh, but they'll start sharing a lot of their social media stuff, um, any kind of cool emotes and things, or their schedule for when they're going to go live, which is a thing. Uh, you can schedule when you want to go live. I have not scheduled anything up. Uh, up yet, but you can see right here I can set up my stream schedule so that you can go live at specific times. So maybe you're like, I'm going to go live every Tuesday at 10 a.m. till about 2 p.m. Uh, and every Thursday from the same time. And you can set that up so that it basically knows you're coming. Um, and people who are following you start to kind of get used to that uh, setup, which is kind of cool. And go into the videos and see all of my wonderful single video. I'm glad that it did not save the one I did earlier. And you can also look at past chats uh, if you want to do that. So I'm going to come in here and go to the video produce. Actually, I'm going to go to creator dashboard first. Do, do, do. Let this load in. So the creator dashboard is kind of a getting started um, with the stream itself. So you're learning little bits and pieces about where to go, how to do it. It also gives you information about your stream, which is kind of nice. Uh, so you can see that it's getting ready, it gives you some tips, lets you know that you know you've got some things uh, that you can kind of grow and get better, improve to kind of improve the health of your stream and maybe get some more people coming to you. So it's just a fun little spot to go and look at stuff. Over here on the little hamburger menu is just navigation, um, which will let you do a variety of things. You can go in here and look at your settings. Uh, moderation is something I kind of wanted to briefly touch on. 
So it's a big deal. You can moderate for yourself, but a lot of uh, busy streams, and I don't mean by having like a lot of followers, I mean that there's just a lot of moving parts. So maybe you're streaming games uh, and you want to focus on the game. You may have a moderator, which is somebody who's going to kind of handle your chat and some of the background tech. Um, so maybe if you want to do some more moving parts with your stream itself, you would have a moderator who helps kind of handle that. They also, like I said, they work with the chat. So if you have somebody uh, in the chat that's maybe spewing something inappropriate, or if you're playing a game that's like a guessing game and they're throwing out answers and you don't want them to, the moderate, moderator is there to kind of slow them down, delete any inappropriate messages or messages that might be cheaty, uh, something along those lines. But moderators are a useful thing to have. Uh, you can also kind of tinker with your content, learn information about your community, and you can also get insights. So, and then if I go to Stream Manager, I'm actually going to go to it from over here. Well, actually, I guess I'm not. I'm go to the Stream Manager. Boop, 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 boop. And then I can close this up here. So this is kind of a Stream Manager. I am live, I guess. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> not actually live um, but I am kind of up on two cameras I have not gone live yet so right now this camera is thankfully blank <laughs> but I am actually looking at a piece of my other my streaming software is up on a different screen so I can see myself uh, which is a little bizarre but you can see over here that there was a chat earlier when I tried to go live uh, I just let people know that I was just testing um, I can play with the chat I can edit the chat settings in here I can edit any stream info, which is just like the basic setup for the stream. So you have your title, a notification for when you go live that gets sent to any of your followers. Um, you have your just chatting category. Um, I set that to just chatting because anything I ever do will probably be just chatting um, or just kind of goofy stuff. Uh, I've set my tags to English and IRL, just meaning that these are things that are happening in real life and it's going to be in English and my stream language is English. So I'm gonna close out of that. Rating channels is a thing that you can do. Um, basically, it's what a lot of folks will do when they are about to end their stream or are literally ending their stream for the day. If they have a lot of people viewing or just a good number of people viewing, they will find uh, another channel that they like or that is similar, related, um, and go raid that channel. So they basically send themselves and all of their followers into this other channel's stream and you go and hang out with them <laughs> and watch their stream instead. Uh, but there's a lot of goofy notifications and things that come along with it. And it's a lot of fun. It's a good way for streamers to kind of support each other, um, especially if one's about to go off the air for the day. Um, they can share the love for what it, uh, with another streamer. Uh, you can also start watch parties, so you're just basically watching videos with each other. Um, and then there's clipping. So this is something that a lot of times moderators may handle and tinker with. Uh, they can also, in many cases, kind of do these bits and pieces as well. Uh, but they can take clips of your stream. <laughs> so if you're going live, you can actually do a, a clip of something silly and save it for later uh, to share <laughs> on various here and on various other social medias. So I'm going to see if I can do this and start the stream. Go live. So we'll see if it pops me up live on here. Nope. All right. Here we go. <laughs> it's coming. So here I am. Um, I am muted. <laughs> so that is a good thing. Uh, it would be some weird feedback or probably just some weird kind of uh, double. You'd hear me twice, which is kind of annoying. But you can see right now on the bottom, uh, it does have the alert that I am live. I have my wonderful, boring background. Um, I can change that, so if I want to, I can say I'll be right back, and it will change eventually. <laughs> there it goes. So there's a little bit of a delay, so keep that in mind. Uh, so I can kind of flip between them. Here's me perfectly live, hi, <laughs> uh, in our little recording space with the boring background. If I had a green screen behind me, um, I could put all kinds of goofy things uh, and, as, and behind me, but I don't. I'm just in a dim dim room. I do have a one minute countdown uh, scene, which I will show you here in a little bit what is kind of what it looks like for me. Uh, but that I just kind of wanted to 
wanted you to see what it looks like when uh, I can go live. So this is what I was using to go live. <laughs> uh, I told you that earlier that you need a PC streaming software. I am using Twitch Studio Beta, which is their new kind of streaming software that Twitch itself has created and put out, which is really cool. Um, this was how I was kind of playing and doing that. So you can see I can jump between my different scenes. I have set a few of them. Sorry, I'm going to be a little off camera because I'm looking at a second screen. Um, but this is how I was switching between them. You can see it's a lot faster for me. <laughs> uh, so there's a little bit of a delay for everybody else. Down here on the bottom, I can kind of do some controls for the stream itself. I can turn my camera on or off. Uh, I can test all of my stuff if I need to. Close that. You can see that I've actually kept myself muted on here and it's panicking every time I do that because it thinks I should be unmuted, but I'm keeping myself uh, muted at least on Twitch for the sake of crazy volume problems. I do have this sound on so that I can hear uh, other sounds if they were to come in, if some poor unfortunate viewer popped in while I went live. Um, down here on the bottom is how I can start the stream. This little pop-up lets me choose to record the little carrot menu. Uh, once I go to start the stream, it lets me choose uh, what screen I want to use. Uh, I can choose from any of my open windows. Uh, right now I have lots of random windows open. I can also do it over here, the main screen share. You can see that I have asked to do coloring pixels. So we'll see if I can get that to come up on my other screen. while I wait for that to load and open. Over here on the right side, you can see my chat. I can interact with people in the chat as much as I wish, uh, which is kind of nice. Uh, and then there's also activity alerts. Right now, of course, I have, thankfully, no followers, no viewers, no nothing. Uh, so of course, it's telling me that things are quiet, but that is okay with me. Um, but as you actually start to get stuff, there we go, I got coloring pixels up and running. So you can see, uh, this is a, a game that I've got from Steam. Um, so down here in the bottom corner, you can see it popped up that I'm accessing the Steam community while playing. Uh, so I can download games from Steam, run them on my computer. I am doing two screens right now, which is why this is working out nicely for me. Uh, <laughs> there are other ways to do this. Um, but I can literally play this game live while you guys watch me. I could go start, start the stream and have it go live. Uh, and you guys could watch me do this, which is kind of cool. So I can open up this puzzle. Uh, this game is basically pick cross. It's just, you know, color by number, paint by number. Um, so I can open that up. Maybe it's taken a while to load. And, and play this puzzle while you watch me play. Uh, and I can just talk to you guys and we can play together. Um, there is a stream that I have watched where they were just doing crosswords. And so the chat was just flying through with answers uh, for the crossword itself. There we go, it loaded in. So you can see I've done a few of the bits and pieces. So with this one, I can just kind of do this and you guys could watch me play this game as I color in this arcade cabinet, which is kind of cool. Uh, this happens a lot. This is what a lot of the live streams are. They're just kind of chill. People are just talking to each other and playing games like this. Um, it's a nice way to kind of interact start the week maybe but just wanted to show you guys what this looks like and that, so that's kind of what setting up a live stream will look like uh, if i actually started this to go live it would just be a bigger picture and people could start to watch i don't want them to so i'm not going to go live just yet but that's what it looks like to go live and share a game all right so here i am i am gonna try to go live on my android device so just so you can see what it looks like it's a little bit different uh, than you might be used to seeing on my iPad. But here we are. This is the Twitch mobile app. And this is what it looks like. <laughs> uh, so here we go. Um, and I click on or tap on my little icon up here in the top left. And you can see immediately I have the option to go live uh, over here on the right. So I can just tap on that and that will start the process of going live on the mobile device. But I do want to point out down here at the bottom of the list, I have the option for my channel and stream manager. Uh, that is, if you recall, I said you can manage your stream from your mobile device. Um, that's where you can do it. So you can be live on your computer and then you can manage your stream from your device uh, using those two functions right there. So here we go, I'm going to tap go live. And then I can 
choose between going live and streaming games, so I can actually stream the mobile games on my device, or I can just do IRL, which is what I'm going to do. And then uh, I can choose to do testing, which is my typical <laughs> title for my stream. I've already chosen just chatting. I can choose to share my stream, but I am not going to today. And then I can just start the stream. You can look at my lovely keyboard. It's asking me to rotate. So we got rotated camera. I am going to go ahead and let you see me. Hi. <laughs> so here we go. I am full screen. I am sharing my screen. I am live. <laughs> so you can tell down here in the bottom left, I currently have zero viewers, which is exactly the number of viewers I would like right now. Uh, so I've got zero viewers. I am live. You can tell by the little red dot. In the top left-hand corner, I have the end button, which is right here. Uh, if I click on that, I will end my live stream if I so wish. I can flip my camera around with this little button right here, so you don't have to see me. You could be staring at my computer screen. And then down here, I've got my little three dots menu. So I can choose to mute my microphone, hide the chat, or lock the screen. I'm going to go ahead and hide the chat. The chat's over here, but I'm not really messing with it right now. So I'm going to hide the chat. And then I get actually to have a bigger screen. You can see even more of me. Um, so that is an option as well. And so that is, uh, in a nutshell, going live on a mobile device. It's really, really very easy. Um, I would, if you're going to go live on a mobile device, I would definitely manage the chat and stuff from a computer. You just have to be logged into the same same Twitch account or be set as a moderator on somebody's account. Um, and you can help manage the chat from there. So I would definitely suggest that because chat on mobile is a pain. <laughs> it is not an easy thing. Uh, but yeah, going live on mobile is extremely easy. Uh, it took me zero time. So I'm just going to click end to end my stream. And then I get a little pop-up that lets me ask if I want to actually end it. Yes, I certainly do. And then I get the playback so I can watch myself if I would like to. I would not. Um, and then I can choose what I want to do with it. So I can make some edits if I would like to. So I can edit the title. I can make some edits to it. That's a wonderful freeze right there. Uh, again, I can share it if I'd like to. I can save and delete. Uh, seeing as I would like to not have that video show up anywhere, I'm going to go ahead and delete it. And lets me know, or lets me choose if I want to delete it or not. Yes, of course I do. And then we're back here, right back at the uh, main Twitch screen. And that is going live on a mobile device. All right, so I am back here on the Twitch website. Uh, this is going to be kind of goofy. I wanted to show you a little bit of what it looks like uh, when someone else has gone live. Um, and how you can go in and watch them. So I'm actually going to go into Tech Ladies. And I am live on my iPad. Hi. <laughs> so I don't have any cool overlays. I have nothing fun going on. I am just on my iPad talking to you. So if you see me switching back and forth, uh, it is because I'm watching myself in my iPad screen uh, and <laughs> trying to kind of play here. But this is what it looks like. I, I'm on my personal Twitch account, which is why I can kind of watch at the same time. You can see down here uh, that I am live. Uh, <laughs> and then, like, what's going on. So it's testing, just chatting. Uh, the chat is right here, so I can send myself a chat. Hi, me. Um, and it comes through as that. I can choose to follow. So if I wanted to follow uh, Tech Lady, it adds it to my following over here. If I want to unfollow, which I'm going to go ahead and do, uh, I can do that as well. It shows you how many people are viewing, which is awesome. Uh, and then if I want to share anything or share this particular stream, or if I want to report myself, I can report myself. So this is kind of what it looks like. Uh, oh yeah. And you can choose a chat identity. So as you do more things, so if you uh, add subscriptions or if they have any unique uh, chat identities that you can add, like moderator or uh, subscriber, things that you've done for so long, that can pop up and change your little uh, badge there. And you can also change your color. So if you want to show up as a different color in chat, uh, you can do that too. It doesn't show up as a color for me right now, but if there were other chats, it could <laughs> and would. Uh, I can also send the emojis. I don't have any uh, emojis for Tech Lady, but 
there are a bunch of other ones that you can do if you want to. Uh, I can do this little <laughs> the hype train, the little puppy, and send that. So it sends that little puppy. So that's what it looks like uh, to watch somebody who has gone live. Uh, kind of just a silly thing, but something I wanted to show you so you can kind of see what it looks like and how you can interact. All right. So that is all I have. I apologize. This video ran probably a little bit long, but uh, there's a lot of talk, lot to talk about with Twitch. It's a really cool platform with all kinds of cool stuff that you can do. Um, and it's a great spot to kind of be a beginner and just go play it. I mean, you're not going to break it. So, uh, just go and have some fun. If you want to get out there and start streaming, um, do it and just try it out. It's, it's good fun. You're probably not going to be a, a pro streamer right off the bat and that's okay. <laughs> uh, clearly I am not. I am just out here kind of playing around and I hope that you guys learned a little bit and uh, feel a little bit more comfortable testing it out and trying it out and going live. Um, if you enjoyed this video uh, and and others and want to watch others like it, please join us on Facebook and YouTube. Uh, we do premiere new videos every Tuesday at 2, every Wednesday at 1, and every Friday at 1. Uh, you can find us on Facebook at MCPL360 and then you can find us on YouTube uh, by searching for MCPL Mo. And you can find all of our awesome playlists on YouTube. We have uh, a lot of our videos organized super nicely, so you can find more stuff that way. And with that, uh, thank you. Uh, thank you for joining me yet again. Hope you enjoyed the video and have a great week.